In 1930, Wycliffe R. Griffin was born to sharecropper parents, allowing him to learn the business firsthand from the ground up. Well, I liked farm life. I enjoyed it, although there was a lot of work in it. There was a lot of, we didn't have the equipment that the people have today. Our source of supply was mules, and that's what I grew up, mules. Griffin was ambitious, worked two jobs, day and night, in order to save enough money to enroll in South Georgia College after transferring to the University of Georgia to work towards a business degree. I went to a junior college to start with and transferred to the university. Um, going to the university, coming off of a farm, it gives you an accomplishment, accomplishment to meet with people and talk to people and not in a boastful or bragging manner, but say, I'm in school at the University of Georgia. And it certainly meant a lot to me and to my family. And I'm thankful that the good Lord was able to help me get through the University of Georgia. <laughs> After college, Griffin joined the Triangle Chemical Company, a small independent formulator of agricultural pesticides. The company recognized Griffin's potential and soon made him a partner. We were a small company and we formulated for other companies. We really in Triangle put a lot of efforts and uh, it really paid off for us. Under their combined leadership, the small firm grew to become one of the most respected and most progressive in the field in the Southeast. Many people in the business at least knew Wycliffe from all over the country because he would, he would talk to people all over the United States, you know, about what's going on and so forth. And, and a lot of times he would pick up on something that maybe he could call some of the farmers in Georgia and tell them what they were doing, maybe in Mississippi or something, see, or something that might be working for them. Well, he'd pass that on, see. And that was his part of his sales ability, see. He would, uh, he would pass on this information, and then, of course, if the farmer needed to buy something, well, you know, nationally he was going to give Wycliffe an order for it. Triangle Chemical has received national and state soil conservation awards in recognition of its contribution to soil conservation. Ten years later, another crisis surfaced. Large international companies began forcing many independent distributors of agricultural protection products out of business. I picked up the telephone. I started calling independent companies around the southeast. I started in the southeast. And I guess the first man I called was Charles Peters in West Monroe, Louisiana. That's where Delta Airlines started, if you recall. And I told him, I said, Charlie, I'm going to form a, a buying cartel of small independent companies for the sole purpose of buying. In 1987, Wycliffe formed Tencos, a number of small distributors to pool their efforts. Together, they would buy at more competitive prices. Peanuts always meant a lot to my company and to the farmers in Georgia. Now, we have other crops, but peanuts by far is a crop that we have to depend on. Folicare use on peanuts that year increased the value of peanuts to growers more than 32 million in Georgia alone. I really felt good. I felt good for the farmer. I wanted to get on the telephone and call every farmer. I wasn't trying to inflate my ego. I wanted to inflate that farmer's pocketbook. Then he could, the, the, the income that he would realize from peanuts, what it would mean to him on his farm and to his family. It's that important to us. Wycliffe was uh, wonderful to work with. He was always positive. He never got down. In other words, if we were working on a project or he was working on a project and it didn't work out for whatever reason, he never got despondent, he never quit, he never got mad. He just turned around, picked up the phone and started on something different. Griffin's other accomplishments include president of the Southern Crop Production Association, recipient of the LaRue Award, SCPA's highest recognition of outstanding service to an organization in 1984, and founder of the Georgia Ag Chem Association, now known as the Georgia Crop Production Alliance. But then as I thought about it, <clears throat> I began to realize all the things he'd done in his lifetime and what he'd done for other people and what people thought of him in general and all, and I thought, come to think, of, well, you know, he'd be a wonderful candidate, you know, and it, it made me appreciate Wycliffe much more than I already appreciated, not that I didn't appreciate him very much, so. I'm quite honored, and uh, nothing like this would have, yeah, it's, I was very shocked, because I didn't think that I was, I'm just a farm boy that got in the chemical business. Congratulations to Wycliffe Griffin, 
the 2007 inductee into the Georgia Agriculture Hall of Fame.